Well, the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And tonight we focus on bipolar disorder, which is a mental health condition that causes extreme mood swings that include emotional highs and lows. So what is it like to live with bipolar disorder? Tonight, the story of Malaika, a performing artist and music teacher who was diagnosed with bipolar. Malaika says she hopes that by sharing her story, she will provide others with a safe space to openly talk about their mental health and seek help. Class is in session. This is the story of Malaika. Has a count of one, so. One, one. My official names are, I have five names, but I'll just give you two. <laughs> Joyce Mungai. Malika came from, I had a freak accident when I was uh, seven years old. Yeah, there's, our car knocked, uh, knocked me yeah, in, in, in our parking at home in Kileleshwa, yeah. And I almost died, yeah. Yeah, the car ran over me and just settled on top of my body. So people didn't want to come and look underneath because they thought, I was like mashed potato or something like that. I was rushed to Nairobi hospital with, in the same car. Only had a scratch. Then later on, I was in the living room with my mom. And I was like, mom, the, the angels watching over me. It's like, you saw an angel? I'm like, yeah. And it was big and huge and it was on, on top of me. So me, the angel and the car. I tried to tell this story in high school and they started calling me the girl that sees angels. They were laughing at me. Then I was one of the smartest in my class, was top of my class, one of the top of my class. And so they used to call me Angel Brain. Then it just went to Malaika. I teach the guitar and the piano to mainly children aged 6 to 16. One. I have a condition, a mental health condition, and for me music was a catharsis. It was a catharsis. I used to write what I was feeling. Those who know bipolar, there's manic and depressive states. So I was going through the depressive state of the bipolar and I just had triggers. I was alone in the US with my sister. She didn't know what to do. She sent me back on a plane to Kenya. I came back in a wheelchair and I went, I went walking. I went walking and talking the way you seen me talking. I would sit in a corner eating cooking chocolate and it's very bitter in a dark corner. Then like, if you open in this light, I would start shaking. Then I was not going to class. I was not sleeping. I felt hopeless. I felt alone. I was very negative. I was very suicidal. No one understood. I would hear voices, people talking to me. I would not be able to get out of bed. Like Lily, my body felt so heavy, like someone is sitting on me and my head like, there's a cloud. They say depression is like there's a heavy cloud you, and you're walking with it everywhere you go. Showering was a problem. My nails grew long. You know, like, look at her. She's so pretty. She's talented. But just look at any God can't give you everything. People talk very badly. It's very hurtful to be called Mwendazimu. It is very painful. And I'm not mad. I'm very sane. I just, I'm living with bipolar. She had crashed into crippling depression and was virtually non-functional. So I'm on medication every morning and every night also to help me sleep. Because sometimes I can go three days without sleep, which is not normal. <laughs> yeah, it has other side effects. Like sometimes I'm just out of it. Sometimes I miss important meetings. Sometimes I just don't feel like seeing anyone. Clinical psychologists say that while there is no cure, bipolar can be managed through therapy and medication. There are different causes. Uh, predominantly, um, it's been seen to be genetic. Yeah? So if a person has a parent who's got bipolar, 
They have a high chance of also developing bipolar at some point in their life. So predominantly we see about the age of 25 as adults. Yeah, you'll find that someone may develop bipolar generally. Minim, crotchet, and semi? Semi. Very good. Bipolar disorder is essentially the cycling between mania or an elevated mood with increased energy, grandiose thoughts and beliefs, rapid speech, recklessness, increased libido, agitation and depression, or feeling down, hopeless, worthless, disinterested in previously enjoyable activities. If someone has a very high-paced job, yeah, um, and they get into the manic phase, um, then they would need to speak to their bosses in a way that their bosses can allow them to take a step back. The good news is that if treated, the disease can be brought under control and managed, and the afflicted person can live a healthy, happy, successful life. It is just illness like any other illness. There is medication for it. There are therapists. Yeah. For me, I'm a psychologist and I studied psychology to understand myself better and to help those with mental health issues. I help and counsel so many people on Facebook. Yeah.